morning, everybody, and welcome back to The Breakfast Club. Hope you all had a, a wonderful weekend. How was your weekend? I was working. <laughs> away from home. Two provinces over. But it was still good. Got to catch up with a lot of people. So yeah, there you go. Good. It's always a long drive or lots of travel, but yeah. it's nice to catch up with. Gone for four days. Two of them were driving. Yeah. Twelve-hour days driving. Well, I shouldn't say twelve hours. days. Ten and a half. I'm doing about a buck forty. I mean, no. Totally <laughs> we weren't doing that. <laughs> <laughs> For legal reasons, I was doing 110 kilometers an hour. <laughs> and if anyone asks, it was the travel duck's fault. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Watch my mouth around him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Tyson was away on the weekend. I think, yeah. did you guys take off? Were you here on Friday? Yeah. Okay, yeah, we were, so here. we were here all last week. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. As for what's been going on this week, we've got a couple big shipments in. We yeah. got a ton of Magpul. A ton! <laughs> we actually had to. Well, we wrote down a ton, but it was a ton. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really know how you're supposed to spell that. <laughs> There's a lot of it. There's yeah. like a lot. <laughs> um, anything new to note? Like any new 2020 um, products? There's a couple handful of new products. Uh, there was, of course, Stealth Grey is it's not color. new, different color. There's a lot more of that stuff now. A new rendition of Grey. Yeah, <laughs> it's stealthy. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of uh, a lot of restocking of all the the different handguard accessories like covers, grips, angled forward grips, different pistol grips, all their stocks, their Remington chassis, their Ruger chat, like yeah, it's absolutely everything. Um, full restock on all the colors, all the availability. We even have the mag pulls. I'm, nice. I'm pretty sure we've had those forever though. So. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll put a link below if you want to check out everything that we have in stock. Um, I'll do a quick screenshot, but I'm not going to go through every single you totally page. Totally should. I, think there's like, I swear there's 35 pages. I'm I just going really fast. That. We covered something a while ago that was like 10 pages, so I did go through them all, but I just sped it up. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do that this time. No. <laughs> Um, what else? We got some Glocks in. Yes, and a couple oddball ones yeah. that you don't see very often, but I made a point. I'm like, check that box. I want those because <laughs> 357 SIG and the 45 Gap models got those in along with the 17s, the 22s, all, all the different. Regulars. Yeah, all the, the numerical number patterns everywhere. Still waiting on the 44s in 22. Don't worry about that. They're coming. Uh, okay. But we weren't supposed to be getting those for another month or so anyway. So. Oh, right on. Still in order. But right on. Something here. That's fun. Yeah. And we just wanted to do a little bit of a plug because we talk about lots of fun stuff all the time. Yeah. And we forget about the necessities like cleaning products. Yeah. Like so. we, all the shooting videos that we do, we have to clean the guns yeah. afterwards. So um, one line that we do a lot with is Bortec. And yeah. it's absolutely awesome because they cover anything from the patches all the way up to the rods and jags and solvents and oils and absolutely you can everything. your whole cleaning kit for everything you shoot. With one with brand. One, with one brand. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, we've touched on it a few times here before, but if you're just tuning in, definitely check it out. Because yeah. um, simplify your entire cleaning process, all of your gear, because you, you can just get... Don't worry about things matching up, jags fitting. They all fit each other. Yeah, Perfect. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> Um, that's all online, and can we ship all that stuff? Yeah, yeah. ships so across Canada. You can ship it out to you no matter where you are. It gets, it's kind of frustrating shipping a, a 416 rod when it's about 72 inches long, it's but awkward. we can do it. <laughs> we sure can. <laughs> yeah. All right, and something else that was new that we're kind of excited to bring to you is the... Boom! The Brownells line of retro rifles, which they're amazing. Yeah, so they're pretty cool. Yeah. Ignore this one. This is just up there for representation because that is the actual the one OG. AR-10. That's the OG <laughs> with its pressed wood forend grip and stock, which is amazing. But uh, one we're really excited about is the BRM-10 from Brownells. So um, the same lineage as the original AR-10. You're going way back. Um, it has nothing to do with the AR-15. This is like it's based on the OG. So we've applied for the FRT. We've done our data pack, and we're going for that NR status. Yep. Keep Fingers posting. crossed. Um, that process takes forever, so... But we've started. That's pretty yeah, that's, that's done. We'll probably do have a little bit of fun with it in the near future here. Um, play around with it. And on top of that, because this one's super cool. Oh. Super cool. <laughs> Make more work for me. Yeah. <laughs> we also have the... Uh, we have a couple in. A bunch of them already sold, but we do um, bring in the full lineup of the retro rifles from Brownells. So here we have the big long acronym XBRM161. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. So any Vietnam era guys out there, collectors, aficionados, this is it. It's beautiful anodized receiver it is very there. Nice. 
And it is restricted for anyone who's not familiar, just it's to distinguish the difference. AR-15. Between, yeah. <laughs> AR-15 and or variant thereof is literally the AR-15. <laughs> well, sorry, M-16, uh, technically, if it was a dot, yeah, but it's semi-auto, so no no fun switch. Uh, yeah, awesome configuration. Uh, they've got all the details down to, it, it's absolutely perfect, and... What are we retailing this for? It's, it's, <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we won't say that. <laughs> yeah, it'll show, we'll do the whole page uh, swing by thing here, but it's it's a little bit of cash. It's got a bit of a sticker shock to it, but again, you're talking a very unique firearm. It's in its exact configuration, the way you want it to be. It's if you're after that, exactly. So it's not um, uh, a cheap and dirty um, rifle you just take to the range and plug away with, and if it breaks, you don't care. It's an awesome gun. Brownells does amazing work, so their craftsmanship is uh, just. Second to none, like it is absolutely awesome. They did amazing work with it, so. Right on, and as cool. Tyson did mention, we are working to working with Brownells to try to get that whole retro line in. Yeah. So. Yeah. Keep you posted on any other models that. Yeah, we have got the commandos on order. Uh, FRTs are all done on those because. Air uh, fifteen. This is the only one that we don't have the FRT for because we're applying for it. So. Yeah. Keep you in touch with that one, and there was a cool other one. <laughs> Do you remember the acronym? <laughs> WWSD 2020. Boom! Yes, what would Stoner do 2020? <laughs> I had to ask because I had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> it is, um, I'm excited for that one, and it's not um, something we have yet, but once they get um, off the ground with it and start working on it a little bit more, we're going to be looking at that one as well. So I'm really excited about that one. I know Brown Else has her pre orders going for it. Obviously, if they're doing pre-orders, we need a unit ourselves to do the same thing with this guy. It's, it's an AR-15, so it shouldn't be a problem, yep. because it's literally going to be an AR-15. Uh, very well. So, lower, as you so. had to explain to me, what is the premise behind this rifle that you're so, so excited about? Yeah, what would the show, short version? The short version. Don't, don't get carried away. <laughs> when do I ever get carried or away? If I start day? falling asleep. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Condensed short version. What would Stoner do 2020? <laughs> Eugene Stoner, back in the uh, you know the mid to late 50s, there he was the uh, controversial, I guess, uh, the pioneer for the modern Western firearms type rifles and uh, essentially actions and everything. Uh, he was the developer of the the AR-15, the AR-180, and the, the Stoner rifle. So he he pioneered a lot of the, the thought process behind a lot of the stuff, and basically what. Uh, Brownells, InRange TV, and k &E Arms are doing is taking all of the concepts that he and principles that he used today. But now. So you're using all of the lightweight, space age, modern materials that you possibly can. Yeah, any forward thinking ideas yeah. or concepts. Putting it into this gun and trying to make it um, what the, the AR and the 180 were back then, yeah. today. So I'm really excited for this one. Uh, I got my hands on it at Chacho like very shortly because the booth was always crowded and they had it tied down right. and I was just trying to rip it off the wall. <laughs> 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 you, you can run in Chacho, but there's security everywhere. <laughs> no, so I'm, I'm really excited about that one because it's taking a lot of minimalistic, simple principles to it and it's it's going to be an awesome rifle. So. Yeah. I'm excited. It's always, you know, it's always fun when new things come to the market. So. Yeah, something that's not a striker-fired black polymer yeah. handgun in 9mm. <laughs> <There you go. laughs> So yeah, not a not a huge episode for you today. Um, we have lots on the go here in the office today, so unfortunately yep. we aren't gonna get out to the range at all, even though the sun is shining. Actually, it was snowing sideways. So. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, it might have been sunny, <laughs> but it's still snowing sideways. Well, so hopefully next week we uh, we'll be back. It snowed there. down. It snowed sideways. It even snowed up. I'm just getting <laughs> sick of snow in general. Oh, we're almost there. We're like, what is it? Is it March? Nope. Almost. We're, we're almost in March. It is the 20... Oh, right. Leap year. Leap year. Still February. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> a couple days left in the month. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, yeah. Hope you guys have a good weekend, and we'll see you next week. Can we go shoot this? Come on! I mean, maybe. Next week. <laughs> All right, see you later. Don't forget about us.